All right, time for another Josh cast. Um, <clears throat> so, somebody stole my license plate off of my car. Uh, and uh, I'm trying to process this. Because a lot of, uh, apparently, and, and, and uh, apparently, well, we'll get to that in a second. Somebody stole the license plate off of my car. Actually, the first thought that came into my head is I, maybe it was a machine. Maybe I shouldn't uh, assume it was a person. Because we're living in an era now where you know, I've got to be more open-minded here. Maybe it's the AI. I don't know. Pretty sure it was a person. Uh, and uh, I uh, uh, have no idea what to do. Uh, and uh, apparently what I should have done was call the police immediately. I, d- I drove home and then I called the police. And I called the police and actually I called 911. And this is very embarrassing to call 911. What's your emergency? My license plate was stolen off of my car. But beyond that, I'm healthy and fine and safe. And not being oppressed. But my license plate. Uh, so that's very, uh, that's very embarrassing. And they, uh, uh, they basically told me, well, we're going to, you know, you need to call the, the city where it happened. Uh, and, and the cops aren't going to pull you over because, uh, they're on, I, I think the term she used was high alert. Uh, because the civilization is coming to an end. Sir, no one cares. No one cares about your car and your license plate. At this point, sir, you could steal certain cars and we wouldn't care. You get a pass. Uh, and apparently, this is a common practice. The cop also told me this is a common practice that uh, people steal the license plate. I guess they put it on other cars. Uh, that I I don't know if they, I, I I guess that means that they're stealing one car and then they're stealing the license plate of another car and putting it on the car that was stolen, is that what they're doing? I, you know, part of me is insulted they didn't steal the car, but also not surprised. You know, it's a ten-year-old car that's dirty and it's got a bunch of crap in it. I guess I'm trying to make my car the interior specifically with all the crap in it. I want it to look pathetic enough to where a thief goes, you know what? He's been through enough. Let's, let's get the Maserati next door. And that didn't, that didn't quite happen. That didn't quite pan out. So now apparently I got to, uh, I have to get it replaced. I have to fill out a form and mail it to the DMV. Is the DMV even open right now? Is there a DMV? Have we already resorted, have we, have we degraded to Mad Max territory yet? Is it just, you, find gas, here's a bat, you're on your own. So I got to send it to the DMV, and then I guess they're going to send me new plates, but I have to turn in the old plate. God, it would almost would have been easier if they stole both plates. Now I got to take the old one into the DMV. Because they want to avoid it happening, they want to avoid, you know, what probably happened to the other plate. Why can't they just make one plate? Maybe they're just going to make one plate, but they didn't say which they didn't say which plate they were going to make. And the other thing too, by the way, whoever stole it, they took the bolts and the nuts that kept the thing in the. I mean, at the very least, can you leave the nuts and the bolts? Now I got to go to a, an auto store now or something. I mean, come on, have some, show some respect. It's embarrassing that that's what I call 911 over, especially in this era of all these protests and the looting and the rioting and the unrest. And it's a situation where people are, you know, exploding because of years of systematic oppression. And in the middle of all that, my license plate was stolen! Mrs. Mooney, they stole my license plate. (laughs) 
Perhaps the, I should take this opportunity to get personalized plates. Maybe. How about a personalized plate that says, Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, I, uh... Yeah. So I just feel, uh... You know, annoyed. That I gotta deal with this. But I guess it could be worse. This has really not been, uh, it's not been, uh, not having a good run here. <laughs> My hair is going gray. More of it is going gray every day. And I love it. I want to finally look old enough to complain and have people around me just accept it. I think that's starting to happen. I think, I, I think officially I'm no longer young. I was still young, but I think we're entering as soon as I, especially as soon as I hit 40, man, the phrase, you're still young, that's going to be gone. Now it's, oh, oh, it didn't work out for you. (laughs) We're uh, entering that, that phase. I don't know, maybe it didn't. That's the, the, the big thing I'm finding is that the pre-COVID era depression is coming back. Because as things reopen again, I feel like a lot of people who were doing well are going to go back to doing well. And everyone who was not doing well is going to go back to not doing, continue not doing well and probably do worse. And I find that depressing. But I'm being vague. It's the... The freedom of the quarantine was that, you know, my dream was, is to be a successful stand-up comedian. And I was living in a time where no one could do that. So I just started doing the virtual shows and, I, and that was all I could do. And I was doing it for the sake of doing it without an ulterior motive and I found comfort and joy. And, that, and I, I don't want to lose that when things reopen again. I don't want to go back into feeling lesser than because I'm not where I think I should be career-wise. So who's stopping me? Nobody is stopping me. I guess I can just keep doing what I'm doing and whatever happens, happens. And that's really, that's what I got to do. I just got to keep doing what I'm doing for the sake of doing it and for no other purpose. That, my friends, is what I got to do. And I don't know what's going to happen. Who knew that my license plate was going to get stolen? Things are simply unpredictable. And perhaps I should start celebrating that instead of fearing it. Sorry, I'm talking like a character in uh, one of the Star Trek series. Not the current ones, but the Next Generation era. Because everyone spoke in this weird... We're sort of doing Shakespeare, but we're doing Star Trek. I don't think we'll be able to find the harmonics of the structural integrity field, Captain. They were just trying to avoid uh, making it sound too contemporary. Captain, we're fucked! (laughs) I don't fucking know, Captain! I don't fucking know! That's what they were trying to avoid. (laughs) Oh, me. Um, This is going to be a short podcast. I feel like I should, there's some more digging I should do on this license plate thing. You know, part of me hopes they got away with it, whatever they're doing. You know, I don't know if you're just 
stealing a a Corvette and driving to Mexico. I hope they got to Mexico. I hope they got what they needed from it. Could they at least leave $16 for me to have to replace the license plate? I mean, just... Can we, can, can we barter? I don't know. <laughs> All right. I'm done.